Hello students, welcome. Welcome to MGM Education. This is Ethics and Value, Semester 2. Okay, in this lesson, we are going to study about the value of Indian Constitution. Right? In previous class, we have discussed about the preamble and its value in my last video. <clears throat> and this is the second one. We are going to discuss about the silent features of Indian Constitution relating to the value system. Okay. Now see. Well, students, those who are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel so that you will be getting all the lesson notes from here relating to ethics and value. Now see the value of Indian Constitution and its features. See students, you all know this fact that every country has one constitution and each constitution has certain purposes that it lies down to form an ideal state. So now what does the constitution do for a nation? Now a constitution helps in serving the people and strengthening the nation because it is a set of principles, rules and procedures on which entire administration is being carried on. And now see the Indian constitution has certain core constitutional values that constitute its spirit and uh, are expressed in various articles. So we have 395 articles. Each article has its own value. But uh, do you know what is the meaning of the word value? See this. Uh, value means the worthness. Right? Worthy. How worthy it is for the people and for the nation. Okay? You may immediately say the truth, non-violence, peace, cooperation, honesty. Right? These words what I am telling you are some kind of value we are giving uh, to the people in the society and for the nation. Okay. And Indian constitution is based on these things. Truth, non-violence, peace. These are the words of Gandhi. Gandhian principles we have adopted. Then cooperation, honesty, respect and kindness. Why we call these are the value? This will help people to live a dignified life, okay, without any uh, social disturbances, right. So, in fact, um, the value is that which is very essential of uh, worth having. So, in ordinary sense, value is that which is very essential or <clears throat> worth having and observing for the existence of human society as an entity, right? And the constitution contains all such values uh, which are universal and democratic by nature in, a, in the present context. Okay, students, let's see. <clears throat> now, let us uh, examine the values and features of Indian constitution. Okay, now, the discussion on the preamble, we have seen the value that is given, right? So here we will go through at least eight or nine uh, points, which are the main features of Indian constitution, as well as uh, what value it does it gives. So let us first see the first one is uh, written constitution. See, Indian constitution is said to be written constitution because almost all the uh, contents of these constitutions are well written down. So it is said to be a written document of rules and regulations. It contains 395 articles, 22 parts and 12 schedules. Okay. And there are more than 110 amendments. Amendments not written here. Students, you can write there. You should remember two things here. Okay. Number one. In the written constitution, we focused on nature of political system and uh, the structure and functioning of organs of the government. That means three organs we have, the government, legislature, executive and judiciary. Then 
it expresses the vision of india as a democratic nation it also identifies the fundamental rights and fundamental duties of the citizens while doing so it reflects the core constitutional value this much we have to return okay next well students the second point is a unique blend means mixture of rigidity and flexibility okay so in indian constitution we have the mixture of rigidity and flexibility these two terms linking with the, you know changing of law that is called amendment procedure here our constitution is said to be rigid why because there are certain laws which we cannot change easily so it is very rigid it has to pass through a number of critical you know agreements but there are some other laws of our constitution which we can easily change so uh, that is called flexible so what india did from the flexibility from uh, you know england constitution british constitution and rigidity from us constitution has drawn and combined it and then it became known as the blend of rigidity and flexibility okay students then we will go to the third point now see so, students the third point is fundamental rights and duties the real value of our constitution is lying here so <laughs> through the fundamental rights our constitution makers made six fundamental rights you know that right to equality right to freedom right to religion Mm, right against exploitation cultural educational right the number 5 number 6 one is right to constitutional uh, remedy like this uh, there are six fundamental rights which the constitution grants to its citizen in the form of freedom so that the citizens can maintain their dignified life so which has its social value and regarding duties we say it is fundamental duties you have a separate long question also on this but now here you just remember the fundamental duties are the duties of the citizens towards the nation so that <coughs> by these duties uh, it reflects the basic basic value of our constitution the next point is directive principles of state policy these are the some principles that indian constitution has adopted uh, to provide equal status to men and women to provide social equal equality and justice to the people there are three principles here liberal principle gandhian principle and uh, social principles the objective is here what to make india a welfare state and provide people with all types of justice and equality here carries the value of our constitution with reference to dignity of the citizens now see the students the fifth feature of indian constitution is integrated judicial system okay so our judicial system as we have federal structure and there is distribution of power between central government and state government we have made our judiciary integrated means from lower level to the higher level we have the hierarchical system that means at the top there will be supreme supreme court and followed by high courts and followed by district courts and uh, mm, session courts a chronological order is maintained so that what will happen now justice can reach to the people so this is the value by providing justice to the people the dignity of citizens can be maintained okay students so next we are moving to the sixth feature of indian constitution is single citizenship indian constitution has adopted single citizenship although we have a federal setup we have selected the single citizenship because we grant the id cards etc as the citizen of india in order to maintain the in unity and integrity of our nation okay students and the seventh one is universal adult franchise you see the constitutional value also lies here one man one vote system here we follow so universal means applied for all adult means above 18 years franchise means right to vote so here what happen all the adults above 18 years are given right to vote so here what the value of equality and justice is restored did you understand now 
okay students then we will move to the eighth point eighth point is a little important but uh, little complicated also so please listen carefully number eight is federal system and parliamentary form of government well students you can make it two points also one is federal system number eight one number ninth one you can make parliamentary form of government so nine points also you can do this let us first focus on the first keyword federal system so india adopted federal system as a unique mode as its feature i mean the feature of indian constitution exactly what do you mean by federal system now under article 1 of the constitution what happened india is declared as a union of state where all the state governments are agreed upon the central government to follow the instruction and to maintain the administration so this is what is called federal system it based on the system of decentralization of power that is the value here so students do one thing make the next point parliamentary form of government make the point 9 okay so let us know what is this parliamentary form of government okay actually what happens you know there are two forms of government that is prevailing in the world one is presidential form of government another is parliamentary form of government uh usa sri lanka these countries adopted presidential form of government where president is all in all you will not find prime minister post there they only perform the work of prime minister and president this is found in usa and sri lanka but in india because the britishers were ruling us they had at that time parliamentary form of government and so we adopted this parliamentary form of government right by doing this what happens parliament is more powerful legislative body which makes the law for the state to rule the people so this parliamentary form of government uh, reflects the value of responsibility and sovereignty that is vested in the hands of the people that it shows okay so the core principles of the parliamentary form of government is that it is responsible highly responsible to its people for their every act of omission and commission that means what if they sit and stand also they explain the reason to the people that shows that the people has high value in this uh, setup in this form of government so which gives a democratic value to our uh, nation that's why these are the values or the constitutional values of indian constitution we can also say these are the silent features of indian constitution okay students i hope you you all understood the clear cut matter so i have given the uh, you know written answers so that you can take this skin shot and prepare your own notes and some words i have said from my own side you can add them also so that uh, your notes will look little natural and you will get very good marks all the best and for your examination in the month of november i am taking all uh, times for you so please like and subscribe and encourage me to make more videos like this and to provide you thank you very much